Hey everyone, it's me, Excondensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new dollar related videos every single day. And today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to be not only doing my first video on an actual just straight up Lika Chan doll, because all my other ones were of the 17 Likas and the Lika Reese dolls, which are different. Uh, so this is going to be my first just normal Lika doll review. But also, this is a Lika of Hatsune Miku. And this was actually a gift from my friend Dean. And I'm so grateful and excited about this doll. This has been one of my secret grails for a long time. And I don't even think I told Dean that I think they just kind of knew so he he got her for me for Christmas and I'm so excited so and again I'm pretty sure this is my first actual Lika doll because I have some 17 Likas I have some Likaries dolls and I have some Jenny dolls and I think I have like one like older Lika but they're not like this scale so I'm just really excited about this one she is so cute so I believe she's number 15 in some Lika character series but I'm not actually sure what these numbers are uh, pertaining to but she's so cute and this is one of the few Hatsune Miku dolls that exist out of I think this is the only playline one at least I have the pull up Hatsune Miku I have three of that one because there's three different like versions that I have I have the Senban Sakura I have the regular one and I have the Snow Miku one if I can find the pull up Hatsune Miku I'll bring her over here at the end of this review so that you guys can check her out because she um, has kind of been adopted by Brett Brett loves that doll but anyway let's get her out of here so she's in this protective plastic right now but that's not original to the doll or anything it's just a nice thing that the seller did. Sorry, Liga Chan boxes aren't very good at actually standing up, so I had to prop it up with that little drawer system thing. <laughs> Alright, let's get her out of here. I'm so excited. So you can see the packaging is super cute, but it's also very generic. It seems like this is just, you know, Liga Chan information on whatever that year, um, the main Liga for that year must have been. And then it just has a sticker right here that says Hatsune Miku, so... Very interesting. It's basically saying, you know, Vocaloid Hatsune Miku X Lika Chan. So it's interesting that she didn't get a unique box. And that's why, I, like, I think this is just straight up playline. I don't think this is collector playline or anything, which is fascinating. And I do believe this doll has been unboxed before, but that's totally fine. Like, I don't care at all. Um, maybe not, actually. She seems pretty well sealed in here. Well, it's even cooler. So she has shoes, which Miku's supposed to be wearing boots, but they've opted for the socks and shoes combo. Everybody decides on something different, and I do not mind socks and shoes combo for her. And you can see her here. And then there's this little pamphlet here, so let's check that out. I really like this blue color they picked for Miku's hair. Normally, people do a lot greener hair, but I really like this one. Okay, so we've got... I think it's just explaining what Hatsune Miku is, or maybe it's saying if you draw some fan art, you can submit it to us. This is showing, like, YouTube, but the old YouTube where the comments were on the right. That was- I swear that was an old YouTube format. I don't 100% remember. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cute. Miku is now out of the box, and she is looking so cute. I really, really like her, and I'm excited because I have bought more Lika Chan dolls that I'm very excited to review for you guys, but this being my first one is so exciting, and again, thank you so, so much to my friend Dean. Seriously, check him out. He's an amazing artist, and I think you guys would really appreciate their artwork, um, but look how cute this doll is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, first of all, the face. Lika Chan dolls generally have the same face. They don't really have a lot of variation in terms of, like, expression or makeup, but very, very cute. She has purple eyes, which is not actually accurate to Miku, um, but I do think this is kind of meant to be Lika cosplaying as Miku. Maybe? I don't know. Um, I really like the way they did the hair, though. I think it looks super good. Is it super accurate to Hatsune Miku? No, but that's not really achievable unless they were going to do, like, big ponytail clips, um, and it's pretty cute. I like that they did these big foam blocks for the ponytail squares. Like, how do you even begin to describe those? Miku's outfit is very, like, robotic, and it's hard to achieve in real life. I tried to make a cosplay of it once, and I failed hard. <laughs> um, she looks so cute! Look at her. Okay, and then if we move down. Also, the hair color is quite interesting because ordinarily they'll go with, like, this color. Like, a much greener color. But I actually really like this color. I think it's very pretty. And it just depends on the version of Miku you're looking at, you know? Like, this is clearly, or seems to be anyway, based on the original design. Whereas this is one of the newer designs, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, they're showing all the green designs, which is interesting considering... So our doll is wearing this really cute little shirt, and it's a very nice shape. It matches really nicely with what it's supposed to look like. The only big detail that I'm noticing that it's missing is there's supposed to be, like, a little yellow thingy here. But other than that, they did a pretty good job. They got all the details, and I really love that they did this trim on the collar and on the little sleeve holes. You don't even really see that in, like, human-sized costumes of this character, so it's super cool. And she's just wearing a simple gross-grain ribbon as the tie, and I love that that just, like, 
I don't even know if that's printed on. I think that's like drawn on somehow. Like, look at it. It's very interesting, but those are meant to be like the little, I don't know what they're, maybe tie pins or something. And then her top is, again, it's like a gray, shiny satin. It looks really good. I like the material they chose a lot. It's not too shiny, but it's also like shiny enough where it looks like it's intentionally shiny. And I really like that. That's how it's kind of supposed to be. And the sleeves are really well done as well. I really like the shape of them. They are pretty loose, so this one specifically keeps falling off. I like that they did the ribbon trims on them, and then the iron-on board actually looks super good. It blends in really nicely with the rest of the fabric, and it helps keep the shape of them a lot. Super, super cute. And then her skirt is very, very well done, too. So you can see under there. It's just a simple pleated skirt, but... I. I just really like it. So the trim is actually a completely separate satin that's sewn on. You can see it's like a satin ribbon. And then we have the satin material for the skirt. And then the ribbon sewn on to be like this thing. In the real design, I'm pretty sure this thing has like triangles on it or something. Is it showing on any of these? Not super where you can see it or anything. But I, I, made, I made this exact costume and there's like triangle thingies on this. But I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. And I love, again, that they did the trims everywhere. It looks awesome. And the length of the hair, I mean, it's pretty long. It's definitely not as long as Miku's hair is, but it's very, very cute. And then her boots, instead of being the actual boots, are these socks with ribbon trims at the top and these cute little Mary Jane shoes. I mean, it works for the effect that they're going for. And again, like, this doll, it doesn't really seem like, like, oh, that's Hatsune Miku because it really does just look like Lika cosplaying as Miku. And ordinarily, I don't think that's what they're going for. Maybe it is. Um, but this really embodies, like, Liga chan went to an anime convention in her little Hatsune Miku costume and had a great time, which is super cute. So, now I wanted to show you the articulation of Liga chan dolls because, unfortunately, they're not as articulated as I really think they should be. So, first of all, I'm noticing this on this one because I'm not noticing this on other Liga chan dolls. It's almost like a click head joint. I don't know how to describe it, but if you'll notice, I'll try to move it in a nuanced way, and it will click into another spot. It's very interesting. So um, that kind of limits your head movement, but it also means that any head movement that I put her in, it'll stay. It's not going anywhere. So um, it's good for display. It does have its drawbacks. Oh, look, one of the rubber bands must have dry rotted. Um, this doll is not brand new, by the way. She came out a while ago. It's just that this was new old stock. So we'll have to redo that um, ponytail. Oh, she also has little earrings. I'm not even sure if Hatsune Miku is normally drawn with earrings. Oh yeah, she's supposed to have big headphones. They didn't do the headphones. Yeah, I really just think this is Lika cosplaying as Miku, and she did a great job. She did a great job. Okay, so the biggest problem I have with Lika-chan articulation is this. They can't move their arms outward, really, and I'm not sure why, because they did do articulation using wires in the elbows, which works great, and I like it, and you can kind of move the wrists with the wires, too, but you can do wire articulation and have, like, a joint that actually works at the shoulder, so it's hugely disappointing. She can't do all of her songs, so she can't... Sami shikute setsuna... Like, she can't do it! Um, <laughs> but... It's pretty cute, but it's it's just interesting to me that they don't include that articulation point. I am noticing that she seems to have the waist articulation, which is a positive. She can sit all the way at a right angle, which is always nice. I've also stained my workspace. If you've noticed that my hand is pinker than it probably should be, um, I did a color reveal doll and it stained my hand. <laughs> um, and she also has wire knees. So these aren't click joint. They are wire. And they actually work super well for wire knees. Like, often you'll find click joints and wires both will not hit a right angle. And this will actually hit a right angle and go further. Um, normally, though, with a wired knee, it'll slowly pop back out. And that's what you'll see it doing. But, I mean, that's pretty good. I don't mind that articulation at all. The the only big problem I have with the articulation on Lika Chandals, truly any Lika Chandals that I've dealt with, is that the, the arms really should be able to go outward. It's really sad that they don't. And in fact, that's a deal breaker for a whole body on a doll for me. So generally, I want to rebody these dolls, but I want to keep their proportions. So it's a bit tricky. Anyway, now I'm going to go get my Pulit Miku doll. But reminder that I'm going to look up the retail cost of this one if I can find it. But the Pulit Miku doll was like over $100 when she came out. She came out in like 2012. Hi, all right, I'll be right back. we're back. So I brought over all of my Hatsune Miku dolls. So this one is one that Brett owns. I believe I paid for part of this one. We have one actually coming in the mail right now, the Harmonia one. So I can't wait for that one to get here. This one me and Brett paid partially for a long time ago. So that's ours. And then this one I bought, but she lives with Brett because she goes with Brett's collection and Brett loves pull-up dolls and Hatsune Miku. So yeah, I really love pull-up dolls. I'd love to make an entire video on these because I haven't made one in a while. And um, I love them. I think they're really cool dolls. And this doll actually was my first grail doll. When I first started collecting dolls, this doll came out in 2011. I started collecting dolls in 2012. This is the first pull-up doll I ever saw, and I fell 
head over heels in love with her. I thought like, oh my god, that's the greatest doll I've ever seen in my life. Um, and she, I got like a few years later and I got a great deal on her, but she was one of my first big doll purchases too. So she means a whole, whole lot to me. And none of these are in amazing condition. I just have to disclaim that now. Um, so this one I bought in pretty terrible condition. We bought in terrible condition, uh, cause I thought I could fix the wig and I had no idea how, but I think I do know how now. So I think I want to tackle this again, but the previous owner had cut it and, completely fried it but hopefully we can fix it but she was $80 in that condition which I don't think is that bad because that doll is actually pretty hard to find at least at the time she was um and then this one we, we pre-ordered she came out last year and we really really love this one um this is probably objectively the best one although I am missing Sakura and the lol Miku so I don't know oh and there's also a Yeolum or Yeolume I don't know how to pronounce that there's also one of those so in the pull-up family there's quite a few and then there's also other Vocaloids like Ren and Len and Maiko so or Maiko I never know how to pronounce her name but Anyway, Mako, I have no idea. Um, also, this little baby girl, so you can see that she actually has an extremely similar color to the pull-up. The pull-up has like a slightly more green tinge to her hair. Um, they are different hair fibers though. These dolls, if you've ever had a cosplay wig before that was not super expensive, it's this material. Um, this material, I do not know what it is, but it's garbage. And then this is the same as the other one. This one's just newer than that one. Um, this doll, I think it's... <sighs> Saran? I have no idea because it's not polypropylene and it feels nothing like nylon. I can never tell with um, Lika dolls and stuff what their hair is, but anyway, it's super soft. Uh, also, I looked it up. This is the only Playline Miku doll, I'm pretty sure, and this doll unbelievably retailed for about $25. So this is actually like a full playline. It's not a collector playline. It's not like an adult themed playline doll. This is just full on a playline Lika Chan doll amazing price amazing price for this quality 10 out of 10 i am completely in shock over this doll i think this is if you can get her for a decent price this doll actually goes for a lot of money now my friend uh, managed to get a really good deal and i'm just so grateful that like oh my gosh i'm just so grateful thank you dean again <laughs> i'm so excited about this doll and um she's gonna live with my collection not brett's collection this is mine <laughs> Uh, but she's so cute but yeah i thought i'd bring over my other miku dolls just so i could share it with you because i assume if you clicked on this video you have at least a passive interest in hatsune miku as a character and i really love miku i wish that more miku looks got dolls because miku is like a really fantastic character design and has a lot of really cool dolls um and i wanted to specifically bring over this doll i want to remind you that this doll retailed for i think 120 dollars. so this is an expensive doll also these little things the way that this doll like, I don't like the way that this doll did them. That's why she's not wearing them. They're just pieces of plastic, and I'm pretty sure they were just attached to the rubber bands. So you just had to pray that they stayed on. They never did, so I took them away. And then she also came with the leaks, but I think that's it. So the big difference in terms of what they actually come with that's relevant to the outfit, um, this... She does not come with the headphones. I really wish that she did because the headphones are really cool. This doll's really neat though because the headphones are actually covered in this pleather material. And these are like actual plastic pieces with sticker detailing. I don't know. I think it looks super good. Um, but these are super delicate little headphones. Also, pull-up dolls. I don't know about the newer pull-up dolls. This is my newest one, and her stand and body are still not amazing, so I assume they're still like this. This is not an official stand, and this doll did not come with a stand, by the way. Um, these bodies are not good. Oh yeah, she has the tattoo in this one. Does not have the tattoo. But I'm really not mad considering the price of this one. Um, I'm very, very happy with that doll. Um, pull-up dolls actually, their eyes move, by the way, if you didn't know. Let me just take the headphones off since they keep falling off. So let me show you. They have a little switch so you can move their eyes, and then they can also wink or blink, which I think is pretty cool. That's why I fell in love with pull-ups, because I was, like, blown away that that was a possibility, um, that they could do something like that, because that was not something that manually being done anyway i thought could be possible with dolls so i thought it was like the coolest thing ever and i still do i think it's so so fun for pictures and just for playing with the dolls in general it's super super cool um but blythe did something like this first but you had to like change the literal eye like it was three different eyes and it would flop between them but it's still super super cool on blythe dolls too um so her outfit is made out of a lot of pleather material which makes sense uh these are expensive dolls and it's a more like premium material but also it has that reflectiveness that you would expect but i will say that as you can see this doll is now over a decade old and you can see these creases forming and someday i fear that it's going to start peeling which will be such a massive shame but this outfit is fantastic so this piece is actually like a plastic piece that's on here and the the outfit is front closing so you can see this velcro there to attach it the trims are all here which is great which i was completely shocked that the Lika chandal has the 
um, trims on it. And then these look so good on this one, but I hate that the little panels are a different color than the actual sleeves. And I know that's just because they couldn't get a true black in the printed material. I get it. But like, I wish they'd done it something more like that yellow and red part there don't have that background on them. How'd they do that? I don't know. Um, but it looks so much better. The little tie pin things on this one are actual like pieces that are glued on top, which looks super good. And then the skirt has the printed detailing on it, which looks awesome. This isn't even in every single Miku design, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and you can see what the belt is actually supposed to look like there. And you can also see, this is closer to the true Miku design, but they do change her color scheme every now and then. Uh, but these two were made around the same time, so um, they probably should have the same color scheme. This is more accurate. She's supposed to be more teal, but I don't mind this one either. It just depends on what artist is doing her. Because if you don't know, Hatsune Miku is a character that is like the emblem of a voice bank so she's like the mascot of the voice that you can use for a program to make like a virtual singer so people will interpret miku a lot differently um so sometimes she'll have like wildly different looks which is why you're seeing like snow miku and senbon look quite different um but it's super cool there's a lot of amazing designs which is why i wish there were more dolls and then the boots you can see are also that pleather material and they're not looking so good at this point in time um this doll mostly just stays standing on display so I don't know how these dolls are going to fare, especially once I got played with more. Um, but sh her shoes, they are fabric shoes with the plastic sole, which is very, very novel in doll form. I, I always thought this was super cool that she has this. Um, the only other dolls that I've ever seen actually do this are Rainbow High, but I don't like the execution of these ones as much. It, I think it's more that pull-up feet just suck. They're very, very floppy and terrible. Um, and it's just regular shoes with a little sock on top, but I really appreciate it and they do come off as one piece as like vinyl boots which is super cool super super cool and yeah and then i'll do a quick overview of the other two real quick so she came with leaks i don't know if she came with leaks but she did come with a snowman i just noticed her arm is flipped the wrong way um and you can see that all of the outfit pieces are actually identical like the patterns are the same and stuff patterns being the how you make the garment not the patterns on the fabric if that's not clear um but her headphones are a little bit different because they got this little floof in them. And I think these ones must be like, I don't know why, but they're so loose. And they're not like snapped anywhere except potentially right here. Um, you can see that little crease that forms there. But these ones are super loose, but this one's better. This doll was released a little bit later, so I do imagine they made some tweaks on it. Um, and then the material that the boots are made out of is actually a bit better. Um, I really love these two. They're so cute. And then Senbon is the newest one, so she looks a little bit different. You can see that they've kind of changed the eyes. So they used to do these i don't know how to describe it but the old eyes were very like artificial looking very like sparkly and the newer ones are not nearly as sparkly as the old and one. this doll's outfit is really cool so she's senbon sakura is the song it kind of has a cherry festival theme she comes with this thing um, and she has this very like military-esque outfit and this is just the outfit that goes with the song um and look at her makeup on this one beautiful i think this one's brett's favorite from what he's told me and this is brett's favorite miku design in general so that adds up and you can see some elements that are preserved across like the mikus in general like you have the pleated skirt except this one is pleated a little bit differently this is i think this one's called a box pleat i don't know i know how to sew them but i don't know what the heck they're called um and yeah this one's just much less like robot-y I guess the other two have a lot of or the other dolls have a lot of robot going on in their designs but this one's meant to be kind of like a like an an older Japanese outfit I think like a period piece I guess um just mikuified and I really love the sleeves and she has little gloves on too she's really cute her shoes are super cool too although because the pull-up stand and body is so bad she will not like she'll try to stand on her heel like this um but how cute are the shoes they're actually like fabric shoes with fabric laces and these foam stilts i know i know they have a name i'm just blanking on it right now um but yeah super super cool doll i really like this one i was really happy when brett was able to pre-order that one because he was super super hyped about her release and yeah that's it for this video i really love hatsune miku dolls and i'm really excited to add more to my collection over time and this one was one that i was just so interested in getting and i had no idea that she was a true playline regular playline price point doll and that just makes her so much more special i have no idea how this release actually happened so it's super cool that it happened at all because this is just like i feel like this is a really hard license to get and the fact that they kept the quality this high with the price point that low is really impressive to me so i want to rank this doll like a good 9 out of 10 the only detail that bothers me that it's not there 
is the headphone set. Like, surely there was a Lika Chan doll with at least headphones. If you couldn't include the mic, that would be one thing, but not including them at all is kind of sad because her whole thing is that she's a virtual singer, you know? Um, but she still has, like, all of the other things you're going to expect from a Miku. But she just really looks like Lika Chan cosplaying as Miku, and that just makes her so charming to me. And this is a very, very cute doll. If you can find her, I recommend getting her, truly. Like, I, and even if I had to pay, like, the resale value of this doll, I would actually pay quite a bit more than her retail. I think I would max out around 75, but I know other people generally will pay more for dolls, but I, I'm very impressed with this one. And this is, to my knowledge, the only Playline Miku doll. I know the Yeolu Miku is a little bit cheaper than the Pulit Miku, but I still don't think it's like no, anywhere near this cheap. I don't think it's under $50. So I'm very impressed. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and hope they like enjoyed the little add-on of the other Mikus at the end. I just figured that you might want to see them. And since this is a Miku video, um, I thought it'd be fun to compare them to. This doll's super, super, super cute. And again, thank you so much, Dean, for gifting her to me for Christmas. I really appreciate it. And I'm so excited about her. All right, guys, um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any like Lika Chan dolls, let me know who your favorite is because I'm currently shopping for them. And then also if you have any miku dolls by chance who's your favorite i mean we would die to have the i believe it's a dolphy dream right there's a miku dolphy dream doll that is like i would die to get that for brett i feel like brett would absolutely love that doll and of course i would too um brett's not a big doll person but he loves these like inset eye anime ish dolls and he also really loves rainbow high um those are the only dolls that i ever see him like be like dang i really like these dolls so it would be really special to get him one of those, like, really, really cool one-third scale dolls like that. Um, which maybe someday, but it's not realistic right now. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye!